So you want to set up a Google AdWords campaign so that you can start to show up in Google AdWords within a few minutes after completing your campaign setup. And so I want to take you through the steps of how to do that. The first thing that you're going to do when you're in Google AdWords, and, and, and in today's world it's pretty easy with Google to start that campaign. They make it pretty simple. You know, if you have a $100 coupon that they've sent you in the mail, if you don't, let me know and I can get you one. But uh, you can start it off with a $100 credit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a campaign and we'll call it Plastics uh, Molding Seminars. And so the first thing that they're going to give you the option is the search and display networks. Now, search, you want search only in the beginning because in, in the beginning, and I'm going to have to, I don't know why they do this, but I have to change my, um, hold on one second, Plastics Molding Seminars. So in the beginning, you want to limit your campaign reach so that you can fine tune it. And then when it's working for you, then you can expand your reach. Typical of starting out in any new market, you're not going to go test a theory or a new concept nationwide, internationally, you're going to test it in select markets. So you want to choose search network only, and you really just want to choose the standard. Um, don't get into all features necessarily uh, or product listing ads. Uh, we can come back to that later. The next thing you want to do is Google search network. You can also show up in the search partners, um, but again, if you want to just focus on Google alone, in the beginning, when you're setting up that campaign, especially if you have a limited budget, you might want to just choose Google Search Network only and not have include search partners. In terms of all available devices, you can run everything all on one. However, best practice would be to remove the mobile devices with full browsers, but keep desktop and laptop and keep tablets with full browsers and we'll talk more about this later. In terms of geo settings or locations, uh, US or you could choose a select area. You could say I just want to show up in Atlanta or Georgia. Um, keep in mind that the more targeted your reach, the less traffic potential you will get, but in the beginning if you have a local search product that you only want to promote, clearly you would want to put your zip code or your country, I'm sorry, or your city or region here. For right now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to choose all of US. And now I'm ready for bidding and budget. Here I'm going to say that I'll manually set my bids for clicks. You see that AdWords wants me um, to choose AdWords will set my bids. I do not want Google choosing my bid management strategy. The default bid will start out at 250 and we'll go with a hundred dollar per day budget. Now here's where a lot of people make mistakes. Um, a lot of people will put a very low default bid. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that but in the beginning they might choose 25 cents a click, 50 cents a click. In terms of budget a lot of people will put ten dollars, fifteen dollars a day and the way they're coming up with that is based on if I have three thousand let's just say to spend I'll divide that by 30 days, let's just say, um, and therefore I'll have a $100 per day budget. So 100 times 30, 3,000. And so if somebody says, well, I don't have $3,000 budget, maybe I only have a $1,000 budget, a lot of times they're dividing that amongst 30 days. With Google, you really have to say you'll be willing to spend more especially if your default bids in order to get on the first page and in the top three positions are going to be 250 or more. You're going to have to show Google that you're willing to spend more money. doesn't mean that you necessarily will if you manage it properly. I rarely run into my daily budget except for during Christmas for holiday retail. So location ad extensions, I'll do a separate thing on ad extensions. For right now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to ignore them. I'll pass them, but we will have a separate session just on ad extensions. So then you're ready to save and continue. 
and now you're going to create a name for your ad group. So uh, we've got plastics molding seminars. We'll call this um, molding seminars. And now we're ready to write an ad. So what is it that you want to say about your ad? Now keep in mind that you have 25 characters for your headline. Description line 1 and description line 2 you have 35 characters. Display URL also only 35 characters and the destination URL um, as well. So let's do the headline. And sometimes as I go through the seminars, and so you see that I can't get one more letter in there, right? So, like, so for example, we could say plastics molding seminar, um, new schedule posted, see what the experts. I'll change this. And of course it's going to take a few minutes to figure out exactly what you want to say, but we'll change this. That's good for now. Remember, you can always change your ad. And then, of course, your site, orbitalplastics.com in this case. And remember, this is my display. So if I want to work in another word here, I could come in and put molding seminars. Of course, I can't get it in there. So I could even put in another word like training. Um, and then my actual destination URL should be the um, exact URL, not necessarily the home page, right? So in this case, we'll put that page. It shows you what it's going to look like on the side and also at the top. And it tells you that you have the opportunity to add more extensions. We'll get back to that in a separate uh, video. And now you're ready for your keywords. So We've got molding seminars, molding training, plastics molding seminars, and plastics molding workshop. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the match types that you see here. You've got two types of match types in this particular listing. You have a broad match modifier, which you see with the plus signs. You also have a phrase match molding training with the quotes. And then I've also used broad match modifier down here again. Broad match modifier says that these two keywords, molding seminars, must exist in the user search query. However, they are not uh, required in any particular keyword order. Whereas this one says that molding training in this case is that this word molding must exist in the search and it must exist alongside with the keyword training. And so you typically get higher click-through rates on molding training and quotes. However, because you're requiring that the keywords existing in that exact order, um, it, it may limit your reach. You may not get as much traffic, but you get a better click-through rate, and oftentimes you'll get a better lead conversion rate for something like this. This keyword here, plastics molding seminars, you know what, I'm actually going to take away the phrase match here, and I'm going to keep one and broad match. And so Google's supposed to find search queries and show our ad and our pages for keyword searches on any one of those keywords. And it could be in any particular order. There could be contextual relationship, something similar to this. There is a possibility you open yourself up in this one 
with broad match that there may be non-relevant keywords, so you need to manage it and monitor your keywords and your search query data closely. And then you have something along like the last one, which is the word plastics must exist, the word molding must exist, and the word workshop. One thing you can also do is you can take away the requirement on workshop opening this last word up. I know I want it to be plastics, I know I want it to be molding, but uh, it workshop that could be subjective. One last one. Let's do a singular. I'll put broad match modifier in front of this one. And one more. Plastic, M-O-E, that's for the British spelling. So let's just see what this does for it. I've already set up my default bid. I'm now ready to save and continue to billing. So where are we located? We're in the United States. And our last recommendation here before we uh, conclude this video training session is one moment here while it loads. Um, you want to make sure that they bill you in retrospect as opposed to in advance, right? So you're going to enter your information here and your settings, but you want to make sure that you set it up so they're not billing you in advance, but they're billing you after the ads and the spend has run. Thanks for enjoying this with me. Um, hope it was helpful.